This is a forest. In warmer summers, trees usually grow faster. In cooler summers, trees usually grow slower. Scientists can use tree rings as an indicator of past temperature. But in one forest, tree ring growth conflicted with nearby temperature measurements you know, the kind that you'd make with thermometers. For one time period, tree rings actually shrank as real temperature went up. In 1998, scientists just plain decided not to use these tree rings. They published a paper on it even, on to 2009. Professor Phil Jones, chats with a colleague about how he had to deal with the tree ring data from the bad period, he says. I've just completed Mike's nature trick of adding in the real temps to each series for the last 20 years, E from 1981 onwards, and F. And from 1961 for Keith's to hide the decline. He's using the data from the paper, but not from the time frame that the paper tells us not to use. He calls it a trick to hide the decline because we know that real temperatures, measured with thermometers, actually increased, on to 2009. Someone hacks into the email servers of these climate scientists, they publish some emails, including the ones with the words hide the decline, several conservative political figures used the controversy as reason to cast doubt on anthropogenic caused climate change. They used it as reason to cast doubt on the warming itself. They are talking about global cooling. Unfortunately, a lot of people are trusting them. Meanwhile, temperature measurement nets increase in north lats, south lats, as is sea surface temperature and the sea level. Even if the science of future climate change is debatable, I would not trust anyone who denies that the globe itself isn't warming.